Hello, I am Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Hello, all my lovely brothers and sisters. Today, I want to let you know something. Keep calm because the Blu-rays are on it. I'm a Blu-ray. I know what's going on. And I don't say that lightly. I say that because I've been through it. I've prepared for this time. And even as baffling as it is right now, I know that we've had some intensity. We've had like some nonstop retrograde action all year. We've had like five masculine energy retrogrades and now we've got a full moon. This is the harvest moon. Now, I want to make a point that under the old calendar, each season had three segments to it. That's when time was actually moving much slower than it does right now. And there were different times of the harvest for different uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, grains. They would come at different times. This time is pretty much almost the final harvest in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's time for planting. But energetically, it's some of the same energy because it is you who've been gathering in at various portals all of you that you need to be fully unionized with your twin. Well, when I say unionized, I don't mean you're joining the plumber's union or something. Unified. Reunified. Venus is already in retrograde, even though, according to the charts, it's not really until October 6th. Now, this is having everyone just do some self-examination. There's going to be things that you will really struggle to discern why it is the way it is. That is what I help people with. This is going to have a lot to do with your relationships. This is big time. It's finally time for big time relationship stuff and being self-aware. There's going to be a spotlight this moon for our people glamorizing certain overindulgences. This could be financial overindulgences. It could have to do with sex. It could have to do with drugs. It could have to do with alcohol. Within drugs is smoking and that includes smoking any kind of thing. I know some people need to medicinally. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about overindulgence here. So let's be clear about it, okay? Let's be clear about what the spotlight is on here. Pluto and Saturn are finishing your housekeeping. And some people aren't liking it. But it's still a necessary part of what you have to go through. The reason is, is that you're setting up house with your twin. So that's the good news is that things are now down to earth and it's time for some of the earthly things for you. This is going to have a lot to do with your head, with your mental energy. It's going to have to do with power struggles. It's going to be bringing some things full circle that started years ago and putting some final closure to it or at least bringing it up so that it can properly be addressed. So I'll give you an example. Everyone, anyone ever heard this expression? Okay. We have two women that are very, very pro-women, and they decide that they want to be a part of women's liberation back in the 70s. And you're saying, you've come a long way, baby. We're not losing ground on that. But it is now coming to fruition where it's really time to put it where it counts, okay? Not only that, but without strange separations because these women want to be in love. They don't want to have power struggles. And yet, what if there are? What if it feels like there's a weird push-pull with your twin and you're not really sure of what that is all about? What if someone is has... A twin who is very old school, very old paradigm. And yet, you know, they're not understanding what is what is each other's role. Well, all the roles are out the window. That's a part of it. That's part of it.
This is about genuine devotion, genuine warmth and affection, and genuine love. Okay? Some of the subtopics are, have you had to be a survivor? Are you just surviving? Even though technically we could say we're out of 3D and we're out of survival mode. Are you just surviving? There's going to be some subtopics surrounding money and financial agreements. Are you questioning if you're a twin flame? Because that's sometimes what the mind does. When the mind doesn't know what's going on, it says, well, maybe I wasn't a twin flame after all. You really have to be self-aware about that. Really? You're not a twin flame after all? I'm going to say this to you. Keep calm because the blue rays are on it. We're on it and nothing is really over. This is going to go on and it's going to get you to where you need to go. But there is another thing that you need to be aware of. It's all about your body now. It's about your etheric body. It's about the parts that you really want to have with your twin. Okay? Because everything all together does need both of you to be stable people. When are you starting your self-mastery? And for some of you, you're not understanding what self-mastery truly is. It doesn't mean being Zen all the time, believe it or not. It really doesn't. It means something beyond that. It means something beyond the fourth dimensional plane where you could afford to be Zen, or you could seclude yourself, or you could just ignore things. That's not going to happen anymore. Now it's for real. This is for real. We've already put closure. That happened with the lion's gate. So there is a massive shove forward. And for some people, it is still not really clear to them what's happening. I have answers for you. Not only that, I believe in helping you to get your body clear through a body energy session so that you're getting the clarity you need. Have you had overwork? Have you been overworking? You may not realize, for example, this lady may not realize exactly how much she's been overworked in past lives. And you see, that's when things aren't really clear to people because they're thinking this life and they're saying, you know, why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling that? But it may have to do with what's happened already. Or what is the twin doing that just isn't really appropriate? What are the overindulgences that are now starting to take a toll? Or maybe they've been taking a toll for a while. Have things been taking a toll for a while and yet it's catching up to you? Could be. There's going to be another really huge thing to know that come October... It's really on. So this is what I want to encourage you. I'm encouraging you this as a Blu-ray, as someone who has taken the steps to not only get the body ready, get the channels going, get your connections with each other really strong, learn about it, or at least learn something about it, and become adept, and take it a step further to make it a part of your life. That is what I teach. Now, there's a beauty in this where only one of you has to learn it. You don't also need to have your twin. They learn it through you. So in case you weren't sure about that or you were thinking, well, is my twin going to have to repeat all of this? No, not necessarily. So I would suggest to you, it is time for a body energy session so that you can learn about it or join my live webinar, which is going on until October 11. There are things that you're going to need. There are things you're going to need to know about yourself. You're leaving the old paradigm. That's not really clear to people. And yet you're wondering why it looks like things look like they're blowing up all around us sometimes. Why the shakeups? So let's give you a little example. If you have two, what were once called women's livers. They were in charge of women's liberation or back in another day they were called suffragettes and they got in trouble or they had to have a rich patron 
or indulgent husbands in order to do what they needed to do. And sometimes they got arrested and put in jail. And sometimes they protested. These days, sometimes people are called SJWs, social justice warriors. Okay. Sometimes these people are, you know, older now and older than they once were in the 70s. And they are still trying to put into place the things that have once started. And yet, there's a paradox here. The paradox is, in fighting the very thing, they're coming together with someone that they don't want to fight with. Okay? This is one of the things about love and devotion and saying, you've come a long way, baby. How do you make this personal for you two? How do you two as lovers, whether you are a man and a woman, a man and a man, a woman and a woman, how do you do this to where the world doesn't really seem to bother you no matter what seems to blow up? You're not going to be going la 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 pretending that that explosion didn't happen. Not like that. Where your body doesn't feel the effects of it. Where it doesn't make you ill. Where essentially it ultimately does not throw you off the way it once did. How do you do that? I know how to do that. How do you feel? How do you not be so empathic when things happen? How do you stop fighting and bucking the system when you may have been connected to that system or you may need that system? How do you do that? That is what I'm teaching in my live webinar now called Twin Flame Love and Abundance. I'm teaching about that. I'm teaching about love, self-awareness, self-mastery. Now, what if you say, I'm not a twin flame? Maybe I'm not a twin flame after all. I don't know. I felt it. It looked real. I'm looking at other people coming together, and I don't know where mine is. I guess maybe I was wrong after all. I must be wrong. Or worse, are you feeling like somehow you're a fraud? You're not the real twin flame. That's not true. That's just absolutely not true. If you felt it, there's a reason you felt it. You're not crazy. You can't imagine these things. And yet it is vividly real. This is for real, ladies and gentlemen. So one of the things I mentioned today in my webinar was how this is so real that some of you have to learn the self-mastery because you have parts of you that are new. If you had a brand new vehicle, wouldn't you want to take it for a test drive? Wouldn't you want to see how all the bells and whistles work on it? But some people are trying to go back to the same old thing instead of going forward. Well, that door is closed and it's, I understand, it's upsetting. It's very upsetting. You're here to be in love. Some of you are singing a song. It has to do with self-respect. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair and send him on his way. Okay, but what happens after that? What's connected to you still is connected to you. What truly is yours is connected to you. Love is never lost. What you love does return to you. And that actually is very much the truth. So how do you dissolve away these power struggles? How do you get things so gone? How do you be the magical goddess of your union? How do you be the magician, the magical god of your union? How do you get yourself out of the old relationships? Okay, relationships. This is going to be to family. So let's give you a little scenario. You have two people and one is saying, I've learned so much about what love is and, and I want to teach you. And I just, I think you can learn so much from me. I just, I, there's things I know that I know you don't know. 
And he's thinking to himself, because now they're talking about mental information, he's thinking to himself, I don't even want to be told directions on how to go to the grocery store. Why would I listen to this? And they're each having sort of this knee-jerk reaction to each other. Whereas what they should be talking about is, I love your eyes. Oh, I love your lips. Gosh, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. You're just glowing. You always look gorgeous to me. How do they get to the point where they say what they really want to say without feeling vulnerable, without feeling a bit maybe off or stupid or like a fraud wondering, how do you get to that point? How do you rebuild trust if someone has hurt you? Because sometimes the hurts haven't just happened here in this life. Sometimes those hurts have grandly happened big time in other lives. So this is about your relationships. It's still about making peace with yourself, making peace with family, making peace with other people. There's another strange paradox that happens. There's many people that feel very comfortable helping perfect strangers, putting on their cape to help or doing it through their work. They like to help people. But when it comes to their personal relationships, they get lost. When it comes to their own twin, they're lost in it. It feels like something that will never happen. Or you look at someone and you say, I don't know, Patricia, how is someone ever going to lose their addictions? How are they going to lose their gambling addiction? How are they going to lose their sexual addictions? How are they going to lose addictions to other things? How are they ever going to escape the shadow of their father? That is where I come in because not only am I a ninth dimensional healer, I am the rod and staff union that is the prototyper of the new template of relationship for 5D living. It's actually the template of relationship from 5D for living here. Okay, so just to clarify about that, because there's a lot of misconcepts going on out there. To clarify, this is not the fifth dimension, nor will it ever be. You're not pulling that here. You are ascending up to it. If you've been aware that you're ascending, if you've had ascension symptoms, if you've had things you felt through your body, or you felt a sense of movement, you're part of that ascension. If you felt energies, you're part of coming back together with your lover. So that part is very simple. These are not abstract energies. They may feel abstract because you can't identify exactly what they are. But I assure you, they're not random energies. Even energies that are here on Earth, such as winds, hurricanes, tornadoes, changes in the weather, the cycles are shifting and changing. Those happen every so often. And it happens in different areas. For the most part, you can see what the usual indicators are. But every once in a while, it veers off and people say, why? Why is there not some regularity to this? Why is it not more predictable? The predictability is an inherent part of you. And that is where your own senses come in to help you with your relationships, to tell you what does it take or what do they need? Or is someone glamorizing something that should no longer be glamorized? Are they overindulging? Are they able to be a master of self? Can they say no to something? Can they stop people pleasing? All of these are very high concerns, along with rebuilding trust, feeling loved and supported. And this energy of Venus already retrograde, this feels like a push back. Okay? It's not really a push back. It's a down-to-earth energy. It means get your stuff together sometimes, but from love. Okay, this, this is also the subject of my live webinar that I'm doing. What do you love? What do you like? What are the things that you want to see for your life? It's not always easy to decide because um, 
you you have two people and you might be trying to navigate this for both of you come and join and find out how to do it okay come and be the person in your union that's able to feel confident and to feel the loved okay now when I work with people, they're having some high-level experiences. Those high-level experiences are important. Those are going to be higher than what you've been able to achieve before. There are some things that you have to set in place so that you can have that. You need to have certain connections with your twin. You need to be out of certain levels to be able to do things. You also will learn about mission, what it is, what it isn't. You will also learn about surrender. What is surrender? It doesn't mean rolling over and playing dead. It doesn't mean giving up. It doesn't mean going out and doing things and indulging yourself in things that you might have already given up. It means something very different. So come and find out about it. I hope that you would like to join. Also. I'm coming to California, October 26th through the 29th to teach body classes. Yes, I am. And there will be some people who are going to be the fifth dimensional healers. There are things to know about that. There are, there's ways, and I'm going to tell you, it's very different. Twin flame healing, twin flame body work is very different than anything you may have learned in the past. I'm teaching it. I am a Blu-ray who is part of the team here, okay? Everyone's a part of the team. But when I say I'm a Blu-ray, the Blu-rays are the teachers of the new light body. We have the connections to be able to feel, to help you get to the things that you need. We're like blasting open the doors so that you can do the next things that need to be done, just like just like if you had a construction project, someone's got to go in and lay the foundation and put in the electrical and then someone else can start putting in the plumbing and the walls. Then someone else puts in the light fixtures. Okay, this is, we've already been a part of something really grand. You're still a part of it. You're not lost in this. You're not lost in time and lost in space and meaning. You are an important part of this. You're a lover. You're a lover. You're not a fighter. The message here is be the lover, become the higher lover that you've always been. Being in love is what supports you. Being in love is what helps you thrive. And being in love brings to you, magnetizes to you, the health and well-being, the deep trust, the deep intimacy that you're really here for. This ain't your grandmama's marriage. This is your divine marriage. Even if they had a really good marriage, there are things available to you now that have never, ever, ever been available. In fact, only recently. So the things from 2016 are coming to a closure very rapidly here. October is going to be highly energetic. That's all I can say about it right now because it's subjective. Some people are going to be very light on their feet about it. Other people, they're going to be like looking for their seatbelts. So if you want some assistance and you want a body energy session to help you with that, please check the link below. There is never a waiting list. Okay, there is never a waiting list. I get to your union right away. There's not a surcharge for emergencies. I do like to go a full hour if I can, unless I already know you. And because that gives me the opportunity to feel where do we need to, in fact, many times I'll go about an hour and 10 minutes. So that is um, how I operate. And I go, I like to go beyond. I like to give someone a bit of support material and make suggestions on what would support them further. 
Those suggestions are written down and I provide you with that because what happens in the session doesn't always just end right at that hour. It plays out over the next couple weeks. And this is important to know. Little by little, as people begin to really know about their energy bodies, this is going to be a part of your maintenance. Maybe for some of you, just like getting your nails done, but more important than getting your nails done. Maybe just as much as a massage. That's how it has been in many of our ancient cultures. And some of you are going to learn it. Some of you want to ignore it. Some of you think it can only happen with your mind, but it doesn't just happen with your mind. In fact, the mind is probably about this much of it. It is a part of it, of course. Are you struggling with your sleep or your dream? I have quite a bit of knowledge and material about your sleep, the new sleep, sleeping with your new light body, and interpretation of your dream time. Let me know if I can help you with that. I would love to help you. And as always, I love hearing your love stories. I really am very privileged and honored. I thank everyone who has told me their love story. I look forward to many of your stories becoming public films and, you know, award-winning books and films and so forth. I really look forward to it. I think we need some new, fresh material. I know that next year... The people that are really doing this will be the ones that are talking about the out-of-body experiences and even more. So I look forward to that. And I hear what some of you are saying. Patricia, I just want my twin right now. Well, your twin is connected to you. Come to me and find out how to bring it out, how to bring this to the level that it should be. That's what I'm here to help with. I heal. I teach. And I help educate you so that you're confident, so that you feel loved again and your life gets onto the track that you're really here for. So thanks so much for watching. Please enjoy the full moon. Please make sure that you get to sleep a little bit early. That will help you with it. Please remember the love. Thank you so much for your devotion to love. It's always a pleasure to come out and talk to you and come and join. Come and join or come and join. You've come a long way, baby. So thanks so much for watching. And if you don't know what to do, remember, keep calm because the Blu-rays got this. We know what's going on and we do know what needs to happen to help. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. Bye now.